Okay, let's see if we can do this. Good morning to you. This is Santos for Alone Jr. here. It's the beginning of a new week. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. I hope that you made it a super fantastic, terrific, over-the-top weekend. You know, um, how was your weekend? Did you get tested? Did you fail somewhere? Did you learn something? I think that's the question we should be asking ourselves on Monday morning as we prepare for the start of the week. Uh, a new day uh, our Creator has given us to once again pull ourselves up by our bootstraps, focus, begin to work, and uh, prepare for serving because that's what life is truly all about. It's about serving others, serving ourselves in the capacity of education and motivation and challenging ourselves right and then you know going out into the marketplace or being at home actually being at home also you know we serve at home we serve our family especially if we are uh well i'm not gonna say the leader of the home i don't really believe in we are leaders the parents are always the leaders so i should say that as parents we lead we lead our home we lead our children and we lit ourselves. So weekends are very special because it's a time for us to learn something about ourselves. It's it's a time of testing for many of us, the weekends are, because we're kind of freed up away from the week and we're able to do things a little bit different than what we normally do during the week. So once again, now this is Santos Rolon Jr. here on Next Level Consulting with a short video on... I wanted to share something this morning that hit me. As I get inspired, I make videos and I I do my best. You know, this is a form of therapy for me. I've been able to come, I've been able to, to uh, break through many areas in my life. And that's my hope in these videos, to help you on the other side of the screen get breakthroughs in your area, in your life, in the areas of your life that maybe you're struggling with. And we're all going through something. We're all on a, on a process. You know, we're all on this journey called life and some of us are growing, some of us are, are stale. Uh, I believe it's a choice. So I wanted to share just a little bit in this video with, with us. And by the way, I appreciate you on the other side of the screen. I want you to know that giving me time, uh, some of your time and also some of the time upstairs, as I say in my other videos. Uh, time upstairs in the subconscious, the paradigm area, the belief, the belief building system, systems area. So I made a video some time back uh, about what I call the three-step formula. I don't think I invented it, but I kind of just put a little bit of a twist on it. What, uh, what, when, and where. And I just, uh, I went through a very special time this weekend. I had left left the uh, left California and visited with a uh, with my daughter up a little bit up uh, I think Minden, California, up near Carson. And as I as I reflect on this weekend, I'm I'm basically just really uh, reflect reflecting on this on that video that I made, what, when, and where. Now let me ask you a question. Have you sat down? Have you, maybe you've never come across that video, and this is gonna be a shorter version of it. At least I'm gonna to try to make it a shorter version of, of what, when, and where. Or how, I apologize for that. What, when, and how, okay? What has to do with exactly finding your true passion. What is it that you truly want? And that really centers around a couple of questions. If you had all the money in the world, well, let me say, let me not say all the money. If you had, say you had $500,000 a month coming in, right? And you didn't really have to work. It's just money that's coming into you every month. And you... You have time. You have all the time that you need to do whatever you need to do. 
what would you do with yourself? What would you do with your life? You know, most people don't ask themselves that. Most people don't. There are a few in the world today that do ask themselves that question because they know the importance of that question. But have you asked yourself that question? Because it's really hard to stay focused when you don't know exactly where you're going in life. It's really hard to stay focused when you really don't know what it is exactly that you want. You end up chasing all kinds of things, thinking that that's what you truly want. And it, and it really isn't. It really isn't. Your dream, your focus, your passion is tied to that what. And unless you're willing to take the time to discipline yourself. Now, you may sit down. I usually say sit down with a piece of paper a writing utensil. You can even do it on your smartphone, tablet, or your computer. You want to find a definitely quiet, quiet area when you're asking yourself that question. Because in life, you find that most people are not focused. Most. There are those that are focused and they know where they're going and they know what they want to do with themselves. So I use that question. You know, if you had all the money in the world and all the time in the world, what would you do? It's something to really think about it. Now, you may not find that the answer to that question by yourself. Maybe you might need some help, such as a person like myself. I love provoking uh, people in a good way, digging down inside themselves so that I can help them find those, those types of answers. And I have the ability to do that because I've, been, I've done it to myself. And that, those are areas that I study about also. You know, I definitely believe in that. Now, uh, when, obviously, you, you want to begin working on yourself immediately. You want to begin working on those things immediately. You don't want to put them off. I don't know why somebody would want to put something off that's beneficial for them. That doesn't make sense. And I'm saying all of this to get to a point here, so just kind of hang tight with me, okay? I appreciate you on the other side of the screen. The how is another area that you got to sit down and you got to strategize. You got to plan. Uh, it, it's just not going to happen. You know, it may happen for you the first time that you sit down and you begin to ask yourself these questions, just like what. But generally, I find it's a pattern. It's a, it's a discipline. It's a ritual. It's a continual process until you find exactly what it is that you want in life. And when you have those areas in your life and you're focused completely on those areas and you know exactly what it is that you want, everything else around you becomes very minimal. The old pleasures that you were, that you were seeking, um, maybe chasing money. I like to use this uh, analogy because the world chases money. Most people chase money. And we got to get to a place where money is chasing us. We got to get to a place where we're completely focused on our passion and on our dream. And the money part will come. That's not, you know, it's like they say, if you put the horse before the cart, or if you put the cart before the horse, that doesn't work. And that's why most people are failing in life, because they're chasing money. And then once they achieve that money, it's gone. It's fleeting. They don't use it effectively, most and, and they're, they're again, they're chasing the cat by the tail all over again, chasing money, chasing money. We need to get to a place in life where money is actually following us now. And that, I believe that that can only truly happen when we know exactly what it is that we want in life. We've sat down uh, with this exercise that I've shared in this video, what, when, and how. And again, it's a process. It's a discipline. It's a ritual. The how part is, you know, it's just like setting a goal. You set a goal, right? Some people write those goals down. A lot of people don't. Some do. They say that the people that write their goals down, that write them down and have them where they can see them, are more uh, conscious of achieving those goals than people that don't have them written down. So, do you have your goals written down? <laughs> 
or maybe they were already written down in your head. Of course, I, if you look behind me a little bit here where I'm at, my my makeshift my makeshift office here. I'm I'm always writing things. I've got, I just you got to stay focused. And you know you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna fall. And and I always say you know what if you're gonna make mistakes, make sure that you're not making the same mistakes over and over. Your mind is very powerful. Your words are very powerful. How you conduct yourself and the rituals that you perform on a daily basis are going to get you from point A to point B. And again, we're going to make mistakes. We're going to fall down. We get up immediately and we learn. We don't stay there. We don't beat ourselves up. We don't focus on the failure. We focus on the learning part of the, of the failure. So, uh, once again, my recommendation here is to get down someplace, get alone, and figure out those three areas what when and how for yourself that's going to make a huge difference in your life you know it's not difficult to do but it is a process and if you want complete victory as i spoke about one of my other videos you got to do these things you have to absolutely do these things because believe me i keep saying this we're going to fail we're going to fall down people are going to point the finger at us uh if we're not careful we'll beat ourselves up I was talking to my wife the other day. Wouldn't it be wouldn't it, the silliest thing if you walked outside your apartment and you saw somebody all bloodied up, punching themselves in the face, I mean, literally hurting themselves in front of your house, and you're just sitting there. What Are you, you going to sit there and watch this person do it? No, you're going to go out there, and in my case, I carry mace, pepper spray with me. Well, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I would pepper, pepper spray that person, but... I would definitely do something to get their attention. I wouldn't just let them beat themselves up out in front of my house. How silly that is, right? That you would sit there. And I imagine there are probably some people out there that would sit there and watch them. No, I would intervene. And, you know, we're the same way. We beat ourselves up all the time. And that should be something that we don't ever do. And if you do, if you've done that, I used to do it in the past a lot. And I just put a stop to it. If you do it, put a stop to it today. Don't do it, because that's, that's going to hurt you. So, now, I went overboard a little bit on my video, but what I really wanted to focus on was that, what, when, and how. And, uh, you know, if you really want the victory, if you want to gain success over areas of your life, if you want to stop chasing money, if you want to know who you are, where, who you really want to be, and where you want to go in life, you got to sit down and ask yourself those questions. And I'll talk a little bit more in my other videos about how to strategize and how to, you know, it's, it's not difficult. It's just a matter of doing it. It's a matter of doing it over and over until you achieve the questions or the answers that you want. So with that said, this is Santos Rolon Jr. here at Next Level Consulting. Comment below. There'll be some information below this video if you're interested in that type of material. Again, business. Talk about business opportunities. Um... And if you want to, if you want to talk with me one on one via phone or Skype, or in person, all I got to do, you, all you got to do is check your schedule. I'll check my schedule, and we can definitely get together and talk about things. So, subscribe to my channel. There'll be more videos coming. Uh, there's a lot more coming. I got a book coming out pretty soon, and we're still working on it. So, with that said, remember to make every single day a super fantastic, terrific, over the top day, daily, in spite of and because of. And I will see you at the top on my next video.